Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a project share. Um, this is a entry that I'm getting ready to send off. It's for a tag flip. It's a tag flip swap. So I'm getting ready to send that off. So um, I've already got two of them packaged up before I, I almost forgot to um, share this with you before I packaged it up. And so let me get to it and show you what it is so I can get this in the mail. <clears throat> so, um, <coughs> sorry guys, I don't know why every time I start talking, I get a frog in, frog in my throat. <laughs> <coughs> sorry. Okay, hopefully it'll stop. Okay, I used almost, ex well, I think probably exclusively um, Scrap Diva Designs dies for this tag flip. Um, I used, a couple things are from the January release and um, one or two things is from the February, February release that's just coming out today. And then I have um, quite a few that I used from past releases. So let me, I'll tell you with them, I'll link everything down below too, so. Okay, so I have it on a big binder ring because um, it was pretty thick, so I had to use kind of bigger one. I just tied a bunch of trims up here to the top. Okay, so my first tag here in the front is this one. Okay, this is an older one. This is the keychain number two. Okay, so um, I like this because it has like the little pocket and I just decorated it up. Um, I added a die in um, as a gift and then um, I just clipped this little heart clip right there to kind of keep that in place and I attached it with the little ball and chain things. So that is the first die, <clears throat> first tag. <clears throat> this is a second tag. <coughs> and this one is the keychain display. Okay, so this one, this is the die I used. I just decorated it. It's pretty simple. This one didn't get decorated very much, but um, I'm coming to the end and I need to get it out. So <laughs> um, just attached by an eyelet and then um, I took the dollar store um, uh, little bubble things and I dumped them out and of course rinsed them out. And then I filled it with some eye pins and some jump rings and stuff. So it's kind of a little mini, um, you know, uh, kit to bead with. So I thought that was cute. And I just have it on with some um, pop dots and then I just tied some trim around it also just to keep it in place. <clears throat> okay, and then I added in this cute little thing from the Dollar Tree is one of my gifts. It's got the lip gloss. It has the pom-pom attached to it. I love that. It's so pretty. Okay, and then the next one I added was this cute little um, round one. <clears throat> it is this one, which is called Scallop Circle Shaker Tag. So, love that one. <clears throat> So that is that, and then um, I made it a shaker, so it has the tiny little micro beads that I like to use. When you use the micro beads, you don't have to do a bunch of layers. It can be a, pr a pretty thin um, shaker. So, and then um, just some cabochons and stuff to decorate it with. Um, and then I use this die that's from the it was from the January release. This die here from Scrap Diva. It's the um, XOXO shaker die. So I think that turned out really cute. <clears throat> and then this is, this is, I just attached here as another little just kind of filler piece. And so it's, it's like the um, other parts from this die that I didn't use. So I decided just to, I, there's like three layers, a layer of foam and then a layer of paper on each side just to give it sturdiness, you know, for hanging on the ring. Okay, then next up, I love this die. I've always loved this die. Um, it is called, uh oh, Skittles. Sorry, guys, my bird is. <clears throat> that's the bird. He's in another room, and I don't have a door on this. It's kind of like a formal living room at the front of my house, and so I don't have any way to shut it off, you know, to close the door or anything. But <clears throat> he keeps getting his foot stuck in something, and so then he makes that awful, <laughs> awful sound. So sorry about that. Um, this one is the um, heart card tag, and it comes with two sizes. I use the bigger one on this, okay? 
So here it is. So I got a little dangle that I made. <clears throat> if you're decided, I attached some, you know, I made a little um, ribbon clasp thing and then some hearts on there that I beaded and attached those and then some ephemera and little brads and stuff. And then I um, did a Velcro closure and you open it up and then inside um, I tucked some tickets. I just thought it was cute with the ticket background. And then one of my, um, this is a new die from Scrap Diva for, this is for February's release. It's the fringed butterfly. This is the small one. It comes in small and large. Love it. Okay. So I have that tucked in there as a little embellishment gift that you can decorate. Okay. <clears throat> and then next I have this one. So this one <clears throat> is a regular tie back here. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. My voice is awful. <coughs> Goodness, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I just have a regular tag here from the from the collection. And then I used this die. Uh, let's see. This is called Garbage Container Bin. <laughs> Isn't this cute? So I made these, and then I had just... Um, so I decorated it all up. It has a cute little face that comes with it and everything. And the layering pieces for the wheels and the lid and stuff. So I just decorated it up. Some trim underneath here. Um, and then I just um, put a um, glue dot on the back there. So it's, it's got kind of like the tag top. But then, you know, they can just take this off easily and use it as an embellishment. So I thought that was cute. Okay, next up, we have this one, which is from a previous release also. That's from this set here, and it is called Romantic Vintage Tag. So, I just thought that was cute. So, this is the largest one. It comes with three sizes and those flowers that you saw with it. This is one of the flowers. This is the smallest flower. This is the largest tag that comes with it. Okay, and then I have some of my fringed hearts. That was from last month's um, release, the fridge tarts. Love them. I did these um, partially with paper and partially with crepe paper. I love using the crepe paper. It gives it such a frilly, you know, more dimensional look with the crepe paper. So anyway, then just decorated up really lightly up there. And then I just attached a garment pin and a little bead there on the side. And again, this is layered two or three times also. I don't like to give tag flips that are flimsy. Okay, and then this is, this one here is one of the new releases from this month. And it is called the Loaded Pocket. Uh, loaded Pocket Small. Okay, even though it's not really real small, it's like four inches tall. Skittles! Skittles, are you okay? Skittles! <laughs> Okay, so it's all um, decorated on the front with just some of the ephemera pieces from the collection. It has this pocket that comes with it. On, and the pocket you use on either shape. It comes with two shapes. There's this shape. And then, let me pull this out and show you the other shape. Because the other shape's not on this one. It's on a couple of the others. A couple of my tags vary just a little bit. Um, but this is the shape of the other one. It's scalloped with this shape here. And then... There's the layering piece. So, <clears throat> you get the two different shapes with this set. Um, and then the pocket can fit on either one, whichever one you want. It comes with some little flowers, like this. And then it also comes with the words Happy Mail, and it ha has a shadow piece with it. So, love that. So, um, that is the tag. So, there's a pocket. And then inside this pocket, um, I have some, like, um, these pretty, like, um, champagne bottle um, charms and then some little puffy pink uh, checkered uh, stars which are really cute so in all the ephemera loaded up and then I also made this is just one of those um, keychains from Hobby Lobby and then I used the new another new die set from Scrap Diva for this release which is called the Conversation Hearts which is this one. So I just um, attach that there so they can take this off and um, use it as a ephemera piece if they want to. 
can use it to do something else with a key or whatever. So there's that. And then I just kind of put this felt part here in the back just to kind of give it like, like a base type thing to kind of keep it sturdy in the back there. So that's what my um, tag flip looks like. And then I'm um, putting them in this cute little bag that's from the Dollar Tree. And I just attached a cute little tag to it. And then I'm also um, including some beads. I couldn't fit this anywhere because it was just a little bit too thick for the pockets that I made. So I just put it in this cute little container so it's some beads that they can use with the uh, you know, the, the pins and the jump rings and stuff that I also included. So I'm just gonna stick this down in the bag. So anyway, that is it for my project share for my uh, tag flip. I will link all the um, products down below um, with my affiliate link. Um, I'll also make sure I list all the older ones too, because I'm sure probably most of these are still available. So um, I'll do all the links that I, everything I used in here, link to the website, link to my affiliate link, and then also um, be sure if you decide to purchase anything, you use my discount code, which is Polka10, P-O-L-K-A-10. That will be listed down below also, and that will save you 10% at checkout. So anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. And um, yeah, I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.